From the forest to the King's Road, we have begun our settlement. Our medieval village is coming along nicely. And today we embark on another great adventure to build ourselves a church, possibly get down a manor house, and maybe even look to start producing some weapons. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to some more Manor Lords. Today we are diving in with episode two. I want to give a massive thank you to everybody who dropped a like and a comment on the previous episode. It was so cool seeing everybody super hyped for this series, and I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to be continuing on our village, hopefully building up and getting to a larger state, more development points, better buildings, definitely at least a church and some tier two uh, tier two houses. That's going to be a big help to our settlement and really start to improve us, allowing us to start getting access to some of the later tier uh, buildings and materials and stuff, which I'm very much looking forward to because I definitely want to start going around and clearing some brigands. And to do something like that, we 100% probably need to get a manor house up. As soon as we have that manor house up, we're going to go and get access to the uh, retinue of the Lord's Land and they're basically some super soldiers that will go around and they're just heavily equipped and able to get themselves really stuck in. If you guys are enjoying this series, please do drop a like and a comment down below. It helps out massively. And once again, if you guys get this video to 500 likes, I'll make sure to do a hour special in the next episode. And of course, you can watch the entire series using the playlist down below in the description and of course in the pinned comment. So let's dive in and take a look at our village. This is Jackie Land. I went ahead and renamed it. I think it looks absolutely glorious. We've got our little houses right here. We're building up a very nice little burger plot right here because this can be expanded to have an extra family living there. And we can also upgrade it when we need to, which is nice. And one of the great things about getting to that tier two stature when you do finally upgrade to level two is you start getting more regional wealth. And that will allow you to then kind of catapult because then you get to start building a lot of these other things. You can use these soldiers start producing like shields in their back garden and other things along them lines which is really really awesome so right now we are obviously replacing our logging camp we've moved over here to the west to start felling the trees and the main thing we're, we're really just waiting for are the planks this is something that we are in kind of desperate need of right now and i actually might stick two families on this just to speed it up and i might stick my final family do I, yeah, let's take another family over on our farm because last episode, if you guys missed it or maybe have forgotten since yesterday, we did really kind of push to try and get a crop yield out at the beginning of the game. Normally, you'd want to wait until the second year because that way you've had time to basically build up a, a, a nice crop and you're not going to destroy your fertility. However, I really wanted to go in here because I really want to try and get as much food variety into the village as possible to boost our approval and then in turn get the most people possible. And I think we're, we're going to come kind of about get it yeah this field is kind of gonna produce us some wheat which hopefully will allow us to get some bread we are harvesting in in, in 56 days and i kind of gave up on doing this because i thought oh there's no way it's gonna happen but now there's actually not a bad chance that's gonna happen so i think what we do is we quickly finish off the building of the logging camp and then we just stick all our available families on sowing the fields and trying to get that done asap as someone who has uh you know got a, a few hours in the game already i think this is definitely the number one tip you need to take away from Manor Lords is not to be scared of just leaving, sorry, taking your families off of other jobs and sticking them on more of the immediate task. task. I think that micromanagement is going to be really key to having a very successful village. It kind of been like, okay, we've got enough wood now. Let's take the families off and go work for fields because, you know, we're sowing them. And that's kind of something that very much did happen in these medieval times. You know, families did kind of go in and help with the harvest, etc., when they were needed. So uh, that's something that we're going to try and employ as best as we can. Cam. Okay, so the extra families ha have now arrived on the field. It's a lovely day to be out in wherever this is in the world and sowing the fields. I'm, I'm, I'm sad, but I'm not there personally uh, at all. Also, I was kind of thinking that this river that kind of goes through our fields, I don't know like if that's very sanitary because, I mean, you know what goes in medieval rivers, right? You know, and that's kind of going into all of our crops. But I guess it's no different from the microplastics we eat today. So, and you never know. Maybe it's good for you. Okay, so I also have come up with a pretty nice plan of where to put our church. I think we're going to go and stick it right about here. I know it's quite close to our fields and stuff, but I think it's going to be fine. The other kind of idea I had was maybe sticking it over here. 
But I guess it being in like in the center of the town is probably a good idea. I didn't want to put it over on this side because of all of our industry. And, you know, that's not kind of where you want it. The Lord's Place is a place of rest. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and set up a little bit of a road here. We kind of need to be a little bit clear, careful of these houses. So we could maybe move our granary and kind of have it a little bit further up. Move our hunting camp as well and have it like with a backed off to the forest. Actually, I think that sounds like a good idea. So let's actually kind of set that up. Nice work. Perfect. And with that, our new granary has been placed down a little bit further away from where we were. But I think that gives space. We are still having to move, I believe. Yeah, we still have to move these supplies. But that's, I think, okay. Something that the family will now do. I can even go and assign these guys to the granary. And they'll sort that out for me. How are the fields looking? A little bit of time have passed. And they've managed to completely sow these fields. Um, I, I, it doesn't really actually look like it changed much in the way of uh, how much it's going to actually grow. Still only showing 13 crops, which obviously is not a lot. But maybe it will increase. Maybe it will increase. I'm just going to kind of roll with it because this is a good learning experience for us all. Unfortunately, we haven't got another family, even though we have 62% approval. If we can get that up to 75, which I think we will as soon as the church is built, then we'll be in a very good spot. On top of that, we are working hard here. So we, we, we just need a little bit more. Yeah, five more planks. And then we can obviously turn that over. We do have a family here as well. Yeah, we do have a family here. So they should be hard at work there. Okay, perfect. Now that our saw pit has cut ourselves up some extra timber, I'm going to be very thankful for that. We're also just about to clear off the last of these stone. I'm sure we can actually use the last of these stone. Now let's get down the church. The church is going to be a big boon because, yeah, getting that tier two is going to be very nice. Question is, whereabouts do we want it? I think I'm going to probably remove some roads. Uh, we can do that by alt clicking and that will help us remove these roads a little bit. I might even yeah, remove this one, get rid of that one as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's maybe look to kind of build something. So we'll have like a road moving along like that, just so that these guys can access that. And then I think, yeah, maybe like a road that spawns. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I kind of want it like maybe over here a little bit. So let's have a, like a road that goes a little bit something like that, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, then spit it up like that. And then we can have it like on this corner. I think that's going to look really nice. If we can get the right angle, something like that. I actually think the best way to do it is probably with a big building like this is stick it down and then build the roads to it. So, yeah, we're going to do exactly that. Boom. There you go. The church is now done. We can then connect up some roads. So we'll do that. And then we will, uh, again, have a bit more of an organic road going there. Uh, this one can go there, and we can even have a path off like so. Something along them lines, I think, will look really cool. Okay, well, we do have eight families now, so we are growing, and this church should basically reach everywhere around us. It's going to take a little while to build. It's definitely going to be one of our biggest projects, and we are running a little bit low on timber, so that's something we're going to have to really focus on. I think you can see some of our crops have uh, started, but we're going to be able to harvest them, and it's not going to be a good yield. I will tell you that. Yeah, I think that you probably do want to maybe just, like, fell over fields to begin with, but it's fine, you know, we, we we kind of experimented and unless you're like, I think this, unless it's like the first thing you do at the very beginning, you're going to really struggle to get a decent crop to make it worth it. But, you know, it saves us having to wait the entire time. So let's go down to one family now because both the, basically everything is 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 set up now. So yeah, there's nothing to, to really do on the farm. So we'll take them families back. They'll help us build up. I'm going to take another one on uh, cutting down some more timber. That's not a bad idea. We have one there. Uh, we have no one on the tannery, but because we're not hunting. Yeah, again, that's like another really good reason why we don't want to have anyone on the tannery because we've actually got no hides because we've stopped hunting animals for a while. We're also going to be able to take a family off of the uh, off of the berry deposit very soon. Again, you can see we have a decent amount set up, but yeah, we can take that away. We could upgrade this place to actually give us herbs, which should help with people when they get sick, but not something that we really have to do immediately because there's not really any uh, kind of negativity. However, we, that's something we have to be a little bit careful of is winter. That's going to obviously heighten it quite a bit. Uh, we're also edging ever so closer to 75. As soon as this church is built, we're going to, I think we're going to be there and that's going to be amazing.
Oh, perfect. Our church has now been complete. That's really, really nice. So there you go. The church is now in, and I think it looks pretty good. I, I always like to prefer it to be on high ground, but I think that's fine. It's in the center of the village. We're going to build more houses kind of like around it, other necessities. So it's going to fill in quite nicely. And that's actually probably something we're going to focus on now because we are now at our nine family limit. So upgrading to a few more houses is probably going to be a number one priority right away. I mean, obviously, I'll show you guys. You guys would have seen in the time lapse. And please do let me know if you guys enjoy them kind of time lapses when we're when we're building these bigger projects because i'm not sure if they're too long or too boring and you guys just want to see more of the content or if it's kind of like a, just a nice chill vibe as you, as we're continuing to upgrade our medieval village but yeah here is the church it's going to basically give faith to all the people allowing us to make them tier two i mean that's what you know christianity was all about right is making your villages tier two so we now have this option to upgrade we obviously meet everybody's uh, requirements we we will meet the uh, the requirement there just hasn't ticked over for the uh, the month quite yet as well as that my crops i think actually are they harvesting yeah so we are harvesting some of the crops over here yeah it looks like they are harvesting what remains and it's not like a an awful yield so i'm i'm kind of hopeful um but we're gonna get at least some of it from it i think a lot of the other ones are gonna kind of take time to grow but that's fine and you're gonna see we're gonna end up having a lot of wheat from these fields uh when they do yeah, the, yeah, and the wheat on these other ones aren't too bad either. So we could look to maybe make more. But what I might end up doing is I might end up just like rotating these. So on our second year here, we might end up like fellowing and then using these fields. Yeah, I think that'd actually be a really good idea. And then we go back to wheat and then over on this field, we then uh, go and fellow it. And then on the second, I mean, to be fair, this one could probably do another year. And we do something like that. I think it'd actually be a really nice little setup. But yeah, let's make our settlements some tier twos right away. So I think this one's going to immediately upgrade to a tier two. It'll take some time to upgrade that. And then, yeah, a few of these other ones. Do we have another one that's already... Yeah, so we'll do something like this as well. So that'll be tier two. We need to make two, yeah, two tier two level two Berger plots. And then that will give us access to another development point, which I'm not 100% sure what I want yet. But also, whilst we're there, we, we do want to make a few more houses uh, on top of that. So let's maybe make another house. Can we fit this one in? Yeah, we can just about fit this one in there. It does have a garden, which is nice. And then we might make a couple, just kind of like a, a range of like, not like the best houses, uh, just a few more over here. Uh, and then we'll rotate them like so. Can we do that? We could do that I and mean, then have like a road going around. Or I guess it's better to probably do that and have a road going around. Yeah, something like that would be perfect, I think. Also, though, something to keep in mind, we could even have a few more houses like here as well if we wanted to. Yeah, like have a house like, and we have got no tin before this, but we could do something like that and then just have like a bunch of like pretty just basic houses along the highway. Uh, it might not be a bad plan of action to do that. I wanted to build some of these bigger houses just because, again, as soon as we start getting more regional wealth, we're going to have to start upgrading them. And it's a really nice like way of to have like just eggs or, or, or sheep coming in. Because again, stop, a lot of the time you can't actually harvest... I'm trying to find one with a... Yeah, a lot of the time, you can't always hunt the game, right? So you don't get your constant income of hides. And as you get bigger, you need more leather. So this is a great way of kind of just having passive hide income in your village through these goats. Um, yeah. And out of interest, do we actually have any storage here? Yeah, no, no storage right here. Uh, whatsoever. Okay, good to know. So now the church is done. Uh, yeah, our objective is to upgrade our settlements. I think actually uh, approval is Berger Pot cause a loss of approval. Oh yeah, could be upgraded. Yeah. So whenever you upgrade a settlement, much like when you get a new family, your approval does tank quite quickly, but it goes up, you know, it, it sheds up pretty quickly as soon as they start getting all of their extra stuff. And yeah, perfect. Cool. So we can actually get rid of this person on the berries now because there's no need to have them there. And we can actually probably stick them back on the hunting camp. And I'll probably hunt down to like eight this time. Uh, and that'll give us some good meat for the, the winter. I mean, to be fair, our supplies are, are pretty good right now. Have we got all the supplies? Yeah, that's basically all the supplies that are there. So we'll be fine, I think, living on berries for the foreseeable future. Yeah, we got berries, bread, and eggs uh, all coming out of our villages. Clothing could be a bit better. And the fuel, again, it needs a... I don't think it actually has anyone in. Oh, it does have some people in. So yeah, I need to go collect some more stuff from the... Uh, from the market. And we have people working them jobs, right? Yeah, because you're constantly making fuel... And we look pretty good right there. 11 months of food, 7 months of fuel. Yeah, that's not too bad. Obviously, as we continue to grow, which we're going to be, uh, it's going to become more and more of a problem. But yeah, I'm happy that we're getting these tier 2s up and running. And that's a very high. And then we'll make this very high as well. I'd rather these get worked on rather than our new plot. I say that though. I say that actually. I think I'd rather a new plot because right now... We have no extra families coming in, moving in, because we don't have the room for them. So yeah, I think it's actually more important to build our first pl plot right here quickly. Building-wise, next though. So they're going to be our, our next kind of big jobs, is building up these, these new houses and kind of just bringing that up. 
We could look to try and get like a windmill up and running. A sheep farm also is not a bad idea, but we obviously need a livestock trader and we don't really have any regional wealth to buy stuff yet either. I definitely would love to get my mana down. Um, again, we're going to need some more rocks and we're going to need some more planks. We do have someone working in on the... Uh, but yeah, he is currently making some more, so that's good. Um, but it does mean we're probably going to have to expand out over here and get some people working on the stone deposit so we can start collecting those for the mana house. Also, I think I'm going to get my mana house like... I don't know where to put it. I really don't know where to put it. I think it would be kind of cool to have it like over here, you know, but that's also a lot of trees we've been have to clear out. I mean, we're we're struggling to clear out all of these ones, if I'm honest, but we can maybe stick a few more families on that. And then maybe, yeah, we stick our like manor house across the field because there's a lot of like extra terrain as well for us to explore. But we could also, again, just like stick it up on, on like this hill looking down because that is, you know, that does elevate. Obviously, all the trees are in the way, but we could like stick it up here or we could just plop it down in the middle of the city. You know, maybe we stick it down somewhere like here. It's not exactly the high ground, but it's kind of like looking over our village and we kind of build up some defenses uh, that way. So now the two tier two is level level two settlement is now done. We can see what they need next. So to upgrade to level three, which is going to be a goal of ours, we're going to need obviously their fuel supply, which they should have. That's the same as level one, but we need three instead of two types of food. And we actually have that right now, which is nice. We need two types of clothing and we also need an upgraded church. So we're going to have to upgrade this. So that means we're going to need clay and more stone luckily we have a very rich clay deposit so we might go and set up a bit of an enclave over by the clay and obviously gathering the stone uh, and then finally we also need the tavern which need, means we need ale which means we need barley barley so it's kind of quite a bit that we actually need to get going before we start going up to tier three and for now i think our focus will be on just kind of expanding our villages our crops are fine there's no way yeah there's no way we're gonna be able to get barley the easy way so we're probably gonna have to import it from this area Area. there is like a, a slight place right here where the church is so we what we could do i mean it's not i'm not gonna do it because it'll look gross and that's what's more important uh but we could kind of do like a, a a little bit of like a a field like right here for example we're not gonna do that because yeah that would look gross but that would also be kind of funny oh my lord the oh that's so annoying so yeah you can see the the resources stolen by nearby bandits they stole all of my leather and they stole all of my furs that is like so unfortunate. So yeah, that's going to be a big hit in the clothing department for a lot of my, my villages. However, we are at 74%. We need one more tick up and yeah, boom, that's going to give us high population growth. Something I've been saying. So we're really likely to get another civilian and another family moving in, which means we're going to have to continue to working on these family, on these houses. But that's fine. We've got enough timber to do so, uh, which is yeah really good. Uh, and we've obviously got enough are we not upgraded this yet? Oh, I stuck it down at medium priority, whereas that was, yeah, higher. Okay, cool. Let's upgrade this to a higher priority. So we start working on the second Berger plot, right? Because we have enough for one more family if they want to move in. And yeah, we'll f I'd rather focus in on upgrading this to go ahead and upgrade us to a medium village rather than a small one. One very important thing we need to do whilst our tier 2 Berger plot is building is choose our bell sound because there's plenty to pick from. And this will define our village loud and wide. I think definitely number three, right? That one just sounds amazing. Okay, yeah, definitely we're picking that one. Our tier two is almost done, which is nice. I did notice that over here on our fields, they are like, yeah, they are seemingly did just get rid of all the crops here uh, and are going again from the beginning, uh, which means we're going to probably have to uh, maybe assign more families down here. We are up to 10 families now, which is great, actually. Um, yeah, okay. We're, we're up to 10 families. Good, good, good. We are now capped. This is something that I, I probably should have been a bit more aggressive of building settlements, but it's fine. As soon as the tier two is done, we're going to build uh, two more houses right away. And boom, there we go. Second tier two is now complete. You love to see it. So it does give us another development point. I honestly don't really know where to go down. We could fence up um, to make fields pastures. That wouldn't be too bad. And we could also upgrade the bakery, which doesn't really affect us too much. I wouldn't mind building maybe a charcoal kiln because that will give us just more firewood. But we're not really struggling for that. We could work towards bees as well. Berry deposits are doubled. That'd be pretty nice. But as soon as, our, as soon as we're making bread, that's not really a bad idea. But also, I guess it is good to keep in mind that we, we need several types of food to feed our people. Having our, our passive meat income as well is not a bad idea. Like, all of these are, are pretty decent. Uh, being able to establish a new trade route as well is actually nice because I think you are capped on them trades. So, stuff like that's going to be useful. 
I'm actually not too sure. So I'm going to leave it for now and kind of have a think about it as we continue on. Our next big objective, obviously, is to get these new houses up. That's going to be two more houses. And then realistically, I wouldn't mind probably just like building another handful. Like, can we build, yeah, just another like uh, four basic houses, nothing special, just getting the people in like so. Uh, I think that'd be a nice little setup right there. So yeah, a bunch of houses is going to cost us a lot of wood, but we're going to really get the people in. Um, and yeah, these, this place still isn't happy. Approval will fail. Enough fuel in the marketplace. We have plenty, no? Uh, apparently not. Is it too far away, maybe? Can't imagine it is. There's no way it is. We're making more leather, which is good. You have firewood there, so are you guys just being lazy and not going to get it, or is it too far away? I can't imagine it is. I mean, may maybe that marketplace is too far away. We could move it, I guess, like build another marketplace like here, but I feel like that's not really that far of a, uh, of a distance, and then the these houses wouldn't be in range. I'm going to see if it sorts itself out. It, it might do it. It might just be stuck. It might just be glitched. And you'll look at that as well. You can start to see we are now making regional wealth. Every burger just pays and, and helps us with that. So that is super nice. Uh, it really is. Um, cool. So now that this is all set up, we're starting to get more families. We've got enough houses to fit in. We're about to build a bunch more. I think we'd look to start, you know, obviously going over here and getting our clay, getting our iron deposits and the other positions. So the first thing we're going to need is probably just a stone cotter's lodge. This will, they'll basically just collect this stuff up and they will, uh, yeah, just basically start g gathering these 100 stones, which is going to be, and that's like not a lot of stones, right? Only 100. And that's everything we've got in this entire region, uh, which is, yeah, isn't a lot. So we're going to have to expand out. And that means we're going to, of course, need our manor house out as quickly as possible. Also, we now no longer need anybody at the hunting camp because we've we've hunted to extinction uh, by the looks of it. We're down to seven. Cool. So our fields are once again being sowed. We're going to have to definitely fellow these probably afterwards, though. So this is actually being fellowed this season, which is fine. You're making wheat over here. This is being fellowed again for another season. We could just try and make some flax. Like, what's the worst that can happen? I might also, to make sure we get this done in time, stick two families on here. And we're, we are making barley here. It's only 24%, but I think we're going to really need it this season. Uh, so we're going to do that. Also, I think one thing that we're going to want to probably stick down is maybe a trading post. So we can start importing some extra stuff. A livestock and a trading post. Both of these are going to be important. So we might stick down one of these. Uh, yeah, down like probably just like over here. I think would be a good plan of action. Like just on the on the King's Road. Or I kind of like it being in here. Can we fit it in here? Oh, no, that would have been really cool to have it like right there. Okay, we'll have it somewhere like that as well. Cool. So that'll be placed down. I'm going to stick probably one more house on like high. And then these can be on low, low priority. Let's get that done. Finish off that house, get that done. And of course, we also have this being worked on. Now, this is like really far away as well. But I want to start getting a family on the stone as soon as possible. So we can obviously look towards to building up that manor house quickly. We are also very close to winter, which is going to mean that our fuel supplies are going to be consumed like no other and maybe sticking another family on wood cutting wouldn't be the worst thing in a world in the world. Yeah, this house is still like not 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 doing doing what I need it to do. I don't really know why they're, they're struggling so much, but but connected to the road and everything, but I guess not. What we can also do is actually upgrade our, our small stable. We can upgrade our, sorry, our ox post to a small stable. So that's going to be a nice little addition. We could actually even maybe end up buying another ox here or even just a horse, a pack mule, which I think helps us with trade, right? Yeah, a horse after placing a livestock market, the town will deliver it. And yeah, I believe horses are, are pretty useful for like trading and uh, the more smaller tasks that you have available to you. The small stable does look really nice as well. Uh, I mean, it's winter time as well. So we want to get these animals out of the uh, out of the snow. I'm actually going to upgrade this one as well because I, I feel bad for the artificial oxes that they're going to be freezing in the in the winter. So yeah, we're, we're going to grab that. And then I guess we really should pick something up like here. And I guess the good plan of action, like a sheep, sheep grazing on pastures, slowly multiply, multiply. That's actually probably an amazing one to get right. Because then you just get more. Okay, let's grab that. And then let's probably stick down a, uh, a yeah, livestock trader as well. We'll stick it the other side. Yeah, let's stick that the other side. And I'll probably make that a higher priority than this. Because then we can start maybe getting some sheep in. And that would be really good for the winter. We're also up to 11 families now. So that approval being as high as it is, is great. And that really came down to a lot of a lot of the time of like building that, that chicken coop early. I should probably look to maybe get the uh, vegetables when we can. Or maybe even the goats for the hides as quickly as possible as well. You, know, you can see like how useful these backyard uh, workshops, I guess, are. And yeah, getting more of that 
more of that you know, kind of bonuses is actually a really good idea. And I'm actually tempted to maybe upgrade a couple more. We have like the families. We just have a lot of projects on the go right now. Like we have these houses being built right here. Then we have all the way up in the north. We have this being worked on and developed. Obviously, it's very far away. So it's going to take us a while to get that. But hopefully once we do, we can kind of just then abandon it. And then, of course, we also have our workshop down here with our two trading posts that we've already pinned out. So yeah, I think it's a good idea to actually have three families on construction. The problem is we only have like one ox right now. So again, that ox isn't really doing us too many favors. But we also... I think we're using it to plow fields. Are we? Are we sowing fields or have we completely given up on that? Yeah, I think that they've been not doing it in the winter. Okay, so hopefully I haven't messed up my crops um, at all. Yeah, no, I think we'll be fine because we're going to have we're gonna have all these crops down and I think they'll sow and everything in springtime. So as soon as we hit spring, they'll go back out and they'll use it. So what we should do then is we should probably reduce these families down to give us more for construction. And I should probably get rid of the uh, the assignment of, of that. So we have four families and two oxes now. So they're going to immediately start using these ox because at that point, it was just doing absolutely nothing because it had nothing to do on the farm. But now it's jumping into work and we can start to really build these houses. And realistically, there's actually no reason to have another per like anyone working on the farms because it doesn't look like they're doing anything unless they are. And I've just like completely missed them. But we have no livestock right now to like the pasture so yeah i don't think anybody was working on these farms i mean it'd be a bit hard to right the ground would be so tough so that'd make sense so let's just get everybody off of there and we're gonna just take these five workers and just really get to work on all these buildings we have a lot of projects to to get to work on we have a lot of timber which is nice how much firewood do we have as well so yeah we have 97 firewood which is perfect food is dwindling so that's fine we actually do have a little bit of grain right if i am not mistaken I feel like we have a little bit of grain. Let's go to our granary. Uh, yeah, we have 11 grains. So I'm not sure how much bread that makes, but we could look to start building a mill as well. I mean, so far we have a lot to do. Nice, perfect. Our stone cutters camp is now done. Let's stick a family on that and let's get to work at immediately picking up these 100 stone and bringing them back to base camp, which means we're also going to probably, goddamn raiders, uh, it means we're also going to probably need someone on the storehouse, which we actually do, which is great news. Okay, and is this, this house still hasn't sorted itself out. I'm not sure if it's like glitched or what. Market supply. Can you guys not get to the market or something? You're connected to the road, right? Yeah, you're connected to the road. So I don't really know what the, uh, what the issue is. We might actually have to end up moving the house, destroying it, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, so we are exploding with families right now. We currently have five unassigned, and there's not really much to, like, stick them on. Uh, obviously, getting extra people on fuel and stuff is going to be a good idea. I think we probably do go back on the wild animals because I'm a little bit scared that food is going to run low. Yeah, we only have eight months of food. And obviously, during winter, our, our fuel is kind of going down. We have someone on the stone cutting, and they're starting to collect these stones, which is good. It's a long trek home. We do need to move this logging camp, so we're going to relocate this, I guess, like, over here would be a kind of a cool idea and we start kind of felling this because yeah I like, oh that's that's a perfect spot now we can see i think we're 100 having our manor house up here which means we need to clear a lot of these trees so we're going to get on that immediately uh yeah we'll get on that immediately plenty of our houses are all being built as i said we have a lot of construction projects so i'm kind of okay with having this many free families but i, I say that yeah so we only have two oxes so actually it's not a bad idea to maybe upgrade these get some more firewood on the go upgrade to some more uh soaring uh, the storehouse is fine, right? The tannery doesn't really have much in the way. Like, the tannery is pretty useless right now because we're we're hunting. Let's go down to, like, five, and we're going to completely get off of it. Yeah, both our trading post and the livestock is being built. We're going to get some sheep, maybe, and start shearing them because I think that's going to be our way of getting the second clothing unlocked. Not that this place has it. And, and then, yeah, then maybe we've got all our houses down here. How many burgers do we have? We currently have two. And the next one we need, yeah, ten level ones and five level twos, which shouldn't be too difficult to get. I think we could probably even get that now. That's being upgraded right away. This could probably be upgraded right away. So could this one. Yeah, nice. I mean, we've got straight up to a large village. That's, that's not a bad little achievement. And then we obviously have our livestock post being worked on. Trading post. How many brigands actually are there? So there's, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we do outnumber them. But I also don't want the men to go off and die. And I feel like these guys are a bit more heavily armored. So, yeah, they actually look pretty scary, honestly. 
So we might wait. Yeah, I think we're going to wait until we have the mana house up and then we get our retinue. And then we'll be in a bit much better spot, I think. But we're getting close there now. And especially now that we're getting a lot of resources in. I think this mana house is, yeah, right around the corner. We currently need, yeah, 20 planks and 15 uh, 15 stone. We're currently at 6 and 10. So I think I'll be able to slot this down just momentarily, realistically. Uh, it's so nice kind of like checking out the village. And I think one thing you can do with a lot of the uh, destroyed trees, you can actually just straight up clear them, right? Yeah, so if you want to get rid of like the shrubbery, you can do so. The trees, okay, these trees are going to stay. But yeah, you can get rid of a lot of this shrubbery uh, to kind of clean things up if you want to. Uh, and you can also, yeah. And I think you can also stick shrubbery down as well, maybe? I'm not actually 100% sure. Boom. Okay, cool. So our livestock trading post is now complete. That's good. So I think what we're going to probably look to do is get ourselves a sheep. We're, we're kind of a little bit off right now. Our regional wealth is increasing. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to be our next goal is like, yeah, get some sheep for pasturing because we've obviously unlocked that new perk. That means that they multiply. Uh, so if we get like two of them, that can snowball hopefully pretty quickly. Nice. We don't think we need anybody here right now because there's no one storaging. One thing I would like, like the game to tell me is like, what benefit do I get by putting a family here? Like, what actually happens when I do that? Because when I go to like something over here, it shows you like they're, they're a grave digger. But I don't think it does on a lot of these buildings. Like, what does that actually, what does that actually do? Yeah, just waiting. He's a trader. But what does a trader actually do? Yeah, what does the trader do? I don't know. I, I feel like there could be like a cool tooltip set there saying, oh, this person does this and this and this. And then be like, oh, okay, cool. We're actually already in January on top of that. So we're going to be getting out of winter fairly quickly, I think, which is nice. We're going to speed through these months. I mean, to be fair, there's not really a ton happening right now. How are we looking over here on the stone cutters camp as well? Uh, yeah, 45 stone. We actually pretty much cleared this deposit and we can get rid of this building. Uh, and then, yeah, then we'll, well, I, I guess, start working on the clay. And also working on the iron. Getting these two mines up, I want to probably do that this episode. Also, let's not, like, hunt these guys to extinction, please. There's only two of them left. Let's get off of that immediately, please. Wow, we are expanding so quickly, which is a little bit scary when we don't have our field set up. I've really messed up the farming, I will say that. But yeah, we're expanding. We're already up to 15 fam- well, we're, we're at 14. We're soon to be at 15 because of our high population growth. So I might take a moment once that's done to kind of just like chill out a little bit. Um, As, yeah, I don't think we're like that strong to build more. I'm going to get my manor house down, which we must be close to right now. Yeah, we just need planks. I mean, I have two people- working on the saws so i don't really know why they're uh maybe they're, why they're not able to get there maybe because they can't get the wood there because the oxes are being used elsewhere that probably makes sense can we like afford another ox almost going up to three oxes wouldn't be that bad of an idea especially when we've got so many like, we've had so many building projects right we still have all of these to complete as well uh, i might actually demolish a few of these then yeah, we have so many building projects still on the go. Like, this is under construction. We have a few other Berger plots, yeah, still being made. But we also have four families on construction as well. I guess we could go down to two. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Trading post is now done, so we could look to start setting up some trade route a little bit earlier. Um, again, we could add, establish some trade routes. I kind of want to save my regional wealth, though. There's nothing we really need. I mean, more weapons wouldn't be a bad idea either. I wouldn't say no to that. Uh, and obviously getting in some, like, barley for the ends. That's, like, that's something that we might realistically do, is we might start getting some barley in. But I, I really want to save up and try and get... Uh, get some more regional wealth and, and then get like a sheep or two so we can start multiplying and using that perk. Like, otherwise, what's the reason to do that? We're also probably going to look to maybe sell some iron and some clay because we have some very rich deposits. With that, though, I think we're going to basically be done with a lot of our... Yeah, I think we'll be done with basically all of our construction, right? We only have one more project. Okay, good. Well, two more projects. We also moved the, the logging camp, which should probably stick to very high because we run out of logs. It's not going to be a good idea. Uh, it's January, though. So by February, 
as soon as the uh, as soon as the snow goes we're gonna obviously go back to farming getting everything ready for summer uh we are a little bit late but that shouldn't be too bad i don't think the logging camps can be up and running we'll be able to probably stick two families on on it yeah let's stick probably two families on our logging camp now uh as we need it and there you go we're up to 15. so the question is do we have enough food to last us we have six months worth of food the berries are gonna grow back and we're gonna have some wild animals so i think maybe yeah, I think maybe we do continue. We need, what, one more Berger plot, which is going to be this one as soon as that's done. Okay, cool. So, they're going to finish off the last Berger plot, which means probably need a couple more houses. Uh, the manor house is still a little bit further away. Yeah, as I said, I don't think these guys can get an ox. Can I? Oh, my God. What I could just do? I can't do that. Yeah, we can. Yeah, so I should have done that. I should have permanently assigned one there. Okay, I'm a bit of an idiot, I guess. Just to kind of get these guys going, because we we desperately need uh, we desperately need planks right now, and we just don't have them. So I should have assigned one uh, right away. And I think as soon as one's free, it will go and work on that. And we only have one more project right now, anyway. So yeah, okay, that was my bad. At least the loggers can start cutting down these trees. Though they should make quick work of this and kind of give us a good opportunity to put our manor house over here. And yeah, we are actually up to 15 families right now as well. I kind of almost just don't have enough jobs for everyone. Uh, which is kind of funny. And yeah, nice. Okay, settlement level increase. Boom. I actually don't know what I want to spend um, on upgrading. We can't grab any of these. Oh, yeah, we don't have this one yet. I kind of feel like I'm going heavily into farming and we haven't really utilized that. So I just need trader who always costs a minimum, sorry, a maximum of 25. That could be like a really nice way of just getting some cheap stuff in, but we're not really utilizing that that much. Uh, the kiln would be good for our firewood. And yeah, just getting a constant kind of a constant stream of meat coming in. I'm actually going to grab that one. A constant stream of, of passive meat coming in. As you guys can see, like our, our farming isn't great. So yeah, that's going to be a good plan. And I kind of... Have you got the... You still haven't got that yet either. Why not? What are our... What are our oxes doing? Oh, you're transporting timber over here. And I guess the other one is probably... No, they're finished building there. So you guys should get access to one fairly soon. Okay, and with that, I think that's where we're going to wrap up episode two of this series. I would say things are going pretty well. We're about to come out the other side of winter, which is actually really needed because our food stocks are starting to run a little bit low. We only have four months worth of food. We did actually just lose some uh, some berries as well. Next episode is going to be a big one, though. Next episode, we get our manor house down up on this hill. We start mining clay and iron. We could probably have done that this episode, but I think, you know, just taking things slow and steady is not a bad idea. And then all of our fields will start hopefully producing us some wheat we're gonna yeah we're gonna go we're gonna do farm two of them as well as the barley here uh, and again trying to get some sheep i have set to the trade on us to start per, uh, importing sheep when we can uh, but we of course don't have the regional wealth so i think continuing to upgrade our settlements we need five level twos and three level threes so that does mean getting the tavern down which i think a perfect spot for the tavern would be like right here opposite the church of course and then probably a few more houses uh but we could probably sit down now honestly yeah, get like a couple more houses like stuck in here. Yeah, so that's definitely, definitely going to be the plan going forward, I think. Uh, yeah, next episode, get both of these deposits up, manor house down, build that up, get a tavern down, start farming, importing and really messing around with the trade as well. Because we have the families to do it as well now. As soon as we stick these down, we'll be able to start mining. And I think we'll be exporting iron and clay as well out of here. We're going to probably need to boom our, our, our people as well because there's going to be a lot of civilians. So I think, you know, realistically getting down like another bunch of houses is not going to be a bad plan of action. Continue to grow. We just need to be kind of careful because our food supplies aren't looking great, but that's fine. So we'll probably stick them down. Uh, and yeah, we need, we need to get the saw pit up and running. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this and you like seeing the Jackie Land expand, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. I really do appreciate it. I'll make sure to make, I'll make sure to read all of your comments as well. So if you have something cool to say, let me know and I'll be, I'll obviously take it into account. I'm probably gonna be recording three of these episodes pre-release. So I might not be able to catch up on your comments until then, but I'm definitely looking forward to reading them. And I think next episode, we'll actually be able to name some characters our retinue. So that'll be very, very cool indeed. Uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, like a comment, down below subscribe for more entire playlist is down below in the description i'll see you guys in the next one